All right, PlayStation Plus for the month of July has been revealed. This is talking PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. If you are a subscriber to the higher tiers, of course, we got the Essential Games earlier this month. But now we have the official lineups for Extra and Premium, and the leaks were on point, but you're also getting some other games on top of that, so let's talk all about it. Uh, first of all, you have Stray. That's probably the biggest game that is dropping with Plus Extra. This will be dropping on July 19th, and it'll be available a day one. This is a game that a lot of people have been excited for, coming from Annapurna Interactive. It's been doing big social media numbers. I know some of the gameplay elements that we've seen more of uh, haven't been completely exciting to a lot of people. But hey, a neon-lit cyberpunk city where the main character is a cat trying to find their way home. I found li I feel like that's something a lot of people can get uh, into. And even if nothing else, the fact that it's available with Plus right out the gate, I want to see games like this available on Plus, so thumbs up for that. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate will in fact be a PlayStation Plus title. Remember that FF7 Remake was a Plus title back in March of, I want to say, 2021. Initially, that was only the PlayStation 4 version, but then they dropped the PlayStation 5 upgrade with the PlayStation Plus version of the game. But now, uh, FF7 Remake Integrate, this is the version with the DLC as well. That will be available to Plus subscribers, uh, so that's a very nice addition because that's still going for a hefty price, so definitely would give that a recommendation. Even if you've never uh, played a Final Fantasy game, that game has more of an action-oriented playstyle, or you can play it in the classic mode, but I feel like anybody can really get into that game. Marvel's Avengers is another game that will be added, so it seems like Square Enix and uh, uh, Sony do have a pretty good relationship in adding their games to the service, but, you know, Marvel's Avengers is a game that Square Enix has kept updated. You can think of it what you want. I played it initially and haven't given it much of a look since then, but again, another addition to the Plus lineup. And then you have the Assassin's Creed game, so these are, of course, very notable to me. Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered is in there as well, Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry, and then the Ezio Collection. Man, that is a stacked roster of Assassin's Creed games. The only one we're missing is, um, what's it called? Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and there are some issues with Assassin's Creed Syndicate on PlayStation 5, so I could very well see this being a case of, hey, Syndicate has some issues on PlayStation 5, Ubisoft might have been like, let's get that fixed, and then at some point we'll add that to PlayStation Plus as well, because it does seem a little bit strange that all of the legacy Assassin's Creed games are available, but Syndicate is missing. That's what I would think is the reasoning for that. Um, but AC Rogue, super underrated game, there as well. Uh, you know, it has a lot of elements from Black Flag, and it's a game that I really enjoyed, so give that a look as well. Um, yeah, definitely a solid lineup of games. Just wish all of those games would have had PlayStation 5 upgrades, but hey, what can you do? They are older titles, so we can't get everything we want. Saints Row 4 uh, Re-Elected and Saints Row Get Out of Hell are both being added to the service. Those are games you can always jump in, have a good time with, not to take too seriously. And definitely would give those a shout as well. I think if you, like, get home from a long day at work, you're browsing the Plus catalog and you just want something to play and you want to pop something in, I mean, download speeds aside, Saints Row is always a decent option to just pop in. You know, you can mentally check out and just have a weird, zany, fun time with Saints Row. Spirit of the North Enhanced Edition is in there as well. That's a nice addition. Uh, Ice Age, Scratch, Nutty's Adventure, uh, Jumanji the Video Game. Paw Patrol on a roll, and then Ready, Set, Heroes are rounding up the PlayStation Plus Extra lineup. Now, the Classics catalog, man, wish we saw a bit bigger of an update on this one. We got No Heroes Allowed, and then Loco Roco Midnight Carnival. This is the area I feel like Plus is um, lacking in the most, the Classics catalog, where we're talking about PSP, PS2, PS1 games, and, you know, those PS3 uh, remasters that are just being thrown in the Classics catalog as well. Yeah, no moss on that. We want actual classic games and there's a lot of titles from the PSP era that would be so nice to have on Plus, whether it be a Dissidia Final Fantasy, I know Crisis Core is getting a remaster, so it's kind of hard to get that done, but um, there's a lot of games there. Uh, you know, th like the PSP had so many great JRPGs, Crimson Gem Saga, just off the top of my head. You know, those are the types of games I want to see added to the Classics catalog, and uh, I think that would be great to see, but right now it is just a little bit sparse as far as the availability in the Classics catalog. But, you know, Valkyria Chronicles 2, another game that would be amazing to see in the uh, PSP Classics classics catalog, but right now it's just not that strong of a lineup, but hopefully uh, that'll be remedied in the coming months as well. So that's going to do it for me. Again, July, I think a nice bevy of games being added. Look, I'm a sucker for those Assassin's Creed games. I played all of them, but uh, you know, if you're the kind of person that didn't play those Assassin's Creed games back in the day, maybe you want to revisit them. 
and you don't have copies of the games anymore, maybe play them on PS3, whatever the case may be, uh, those are some nice titles to check out. Saints Row, I think, is a nice addition, and you're getting FF7 Remake Integrate, Marvel's Avengers, and then Stray to top it off as a new release. I think this is a really solid lineup. I'm not gonna be comparing it to the Game Pass updates just because Game Pass is what it is. It's obvious that, you know, Sony's not putting as much stock into Plus. But I feel like getting your money's worth, this is a pretty solid roster of games. So that's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.